I'm Miss Wood and I'm going to be reading Our Needs and Wants by Amy Hutchings. When you look at this book, do you think that this is going to be fiction or nonfiction? Go ahead and take a look. Just by looking at this cover, what do you predict? And I'm going to remind you in case you forgot, fiction, I it's kind of like fake. That's how I've told you to remember it in the past fiction, like fake. So the nonfiction would be like not fake. So in case you forgot, go ahead and take another look at this. What do you think, fiction or nonfiction? Now, how can you tell? All right, so if you said that this book is nonfiction, then you're correct. And one way to tell is by looking at the, the front cover. What do you see? Does it look like somebody painted a picture or is it a photograph taken with the camera? It's a photograph taken with the camera. So usually that lets us know that it's going to be nonfiction. Not always, but most of the time it's gonna be a nonfiction story if you see a photograph. Now, this book, it's a little different than the books we read in the classroom because this has a table of contents and that lets us know where we can find the different chapters. It tells you the name of the chapter and it tells you what page you'll find it on. So for example, chapter one says, what are our needs? And you would find that on page six. So if I wanted to, I would just turn to page six and there it is. Okay, so that's the table of contents. Now in the beginning, they have some words for us to think about. I'm going to show you the pictures first, and then I can read it to you. Okay, so this says afford. She can afford to buy something for $3. Next, it says choices. We make choices every day. Needs. Needs are things that we must have to live. Save. People can save money in a bank. Shelter. A mobile home is a type of shelter. Wants. Wants are things we may like but do not need. And so they're telling us about these words in the beginning because we're going to see them later on in this story or in this book. So they wanted us to know before we started reading. Now this is an introduction, so they're going to give us a little bit of information in the beginning of the book. Introduction. We all have needs and wants. Needs are the things that people, oh, I'm sorry, that all people must have to stay alive or survive. Wants are the things that we may like to have, but we do not need. We can live without them. Go ahead and take a look over here. Do you see needs? What about wants? Which pictures are things that you would need to have? Now, which ones are things that you would want to have but you don't need to live? So over here, there's food, clothes, shelter, pet, computer, MP3 player, and games. So all of the things on this side, food, clothes, shelter, those are all needs. Those are things you need in order to be able to survive. On this side, do you need to have a pet? No, I love my dog, but it's not a need. It's not going to help us survive. A computer, do you have to have a computer in order to survive? No, you don't have to have a computer. That's just the want. Do you need water to live? Oh, yes, you do, absolutely. Do you need milkshakes to live? No, so would that be a need or a want? Milkshakes are a want. Water is a need. Over here, we can find chapter one. It lets us know in the top corner. And the title of chapter one is what are our needs? We all need air, food, and water to live. These are the things that help our bodies grow and stay healthy. 
And down here it says water fact. We use pipes to carry water into our homes. The water we drink comes from rivers, lakes, reservoirs, and glaciers. Shelter is where we live and clothes are what we wear. Our homes and clothes protect us from hot and cold weather keeps us safe. All people have the same basic needs. All right, take a look up here. What chapter do you see now? Chapter two. What? are our wants. Wants are the things we like but do not need to survive. Wants are things that make life easier or more fun. Down here it says compare and contrast. The author uses the word but to contrast between wants and needs. People want many different things like computers, pets, bicycles, and trips to the amusement park. What are some things you want? Go ahead and think about it. What's something that you want? Hmm. I would like a boat and a dirt bike. Are those things I need? No, it was the want. So there are things I would like to have, but I don't need it to survive. So think about it. Cupcakes are a type of food, but we do not need them to live. Are they a want or a need? They're a want. How are wants different from needs? Go ahead and think about that. How are wants different from needs? What is a want? Is it something that you have to have to survive? What about a need? What does that mean, need? Do you have to have that to survive? Yeah, and what are those needs? What do you need to survive? You need water, shelter, food, clothes. What chapter are we on now? Go ahead and take a look. Chapter three. How do we meet our needs and wants? People work to meet their needs and wants. People grow food to eat. They make clothes and build homes to live in. People must make and grow goods to use, sell, or trade. People also work at jobs to earn money. People use the money they earn to pay for the things they need and want. And over here it says helping others. Some people don't have enough money to buy all the things they need. How can we help these people? Go ahead and think about it. How could you help someone who doesn't have enough? They don't have all their needs met. What could you do? Well, if you have, maybe if you have extra clothes at home, you could donate clothes to people though that don't have enough. Or if you have extra food, like canned goods, canned foods are usually pretty good to donate to people. So those are a couple things you could do. People use money to buy things they need or want. And then this is still part of chapter three. Most people do not have enough money to buy everything. They cannot afford all the things they need and want, so they have to make choices. The price or cost of things can affect what people choose to buy. So over here, what are they looking at? Tomatoes, and over here it looks like there's some that are $2, and back there there's some that cost $1. So even though they're both tomatoes, the price or the cost can affect what they choose to buy. So maybe they're running low on money. If they're running low on money, do you think they're gonna spend $2 on a tomato when they can get one for $1? Probably not. So your choices usually kind of depend on the prices and the cost of things. And then you also have to choose between your needs and wants. 
Usually people will choose, you know, to buy or spend money on things they need, but not always. Sometimes if you have extra money, you can buy things that you want too. So this says supply and demand. When many people buy something that is scarce, that is in scarce supply, that means that they don't have enough of, the price goes up. When the demand goes down, the price goes down too. Often people choose to buy the things they need first and save the money they have left over. They save until they can afford to pay for the things they want. So earlier I was saying I wanted a dirt bike and a boat. So if I saved some of my leftover money, I would be able to buy some of those things I want, but I would have to save a lot. <laughs> what about you? What would you like to save money on? Or for, I'm sorry, what would you like to save money for? Think about it. All right, now you have a goal. So go ahead and try to start saving money. Maybe you can work around the house. Or maybe it might take a little bit of time because things are a little bit a little bit tricky right now as far as money goes because some of our parents aren't able to work right now. But maybe when things start getting better for us, we could start saving money then. It doesn't have to be right now, but as soon as you're able to, you can start trying to save some money. This boy will save his money. What is he putting his money in? What do we call those? A piggy bank. Now, this is a conclusion. So it's pretty much gonna be everything that we've already talked about. They're just gonna sum it up for us. We'll talk about a little of it again. We all have needs and wants. Needs are the things we must have to live. Wants are things we do not need to survive. Does it sound familiar? Each day we choose between our needs and wants. By working and saving, we can meet most of our needs and wants. Over here we have the needs. What are those? What do you see? Clothes, food, water. And on this side, there are wants. What do you see on that side? Teddy bear. Oh, I'm sorry. Wrong order. Pet games, teddy bear. Back here, this is a glossary. So these are gonna be some of the words that were in bold. They just tell us what they mean. So I'll go over a couple of them. And you know what? We might have heard some of these words in the beginning. So afford, that's to have enough money to pay for something. Choices, decisions we make. Needs are things we must have to live. Save means to not spend, to keep. Shelter is a home or a building that protects us. And wants are the things we like to have but do not need. Now under each of these definitions, those are those bold words, they look really dark. It's gonna tell you where you would find it. So what page those words are on. And then over here, there are some facts about needs and wants. So there's some questions and answers. So I'm gonna ask you some questions. Do all living things have the same needs? Think about it. And here's the answer. No, all living things do not have the same exact need. While all living things need light, air, water, and space to grow, animals and humans also require shelter. But plants and animals don't need clothes. Wouldn't that be pretty silly if they did? Oh no. So you know what? We don't all have the same needs. We all have needs, but they're not the exact same. Down here, another question, and this is the last question, is are all types of shelter the same? Go ahead and think about it. All right, let's hear the answer. No. Is that what you said? There are many different types of shelter. Houses, apartments, and mobile homes are just some types of shelter. Even houseboats are a type of shelter. Did you know that? That people live on boats? Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> All righty. And so that is the end of our needs and wants. I hope that you've learned something today about our needs and wants, and I hope now 
you're able to tell the difference between the two. What's a little bit more important? Your needs. After all of your needs are met, then you can start thinking about things that you want, things you would like to have. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.